What's up YouTube, it's your old school expert and today I've got a nice little pack opening for you. We've got eight packs of first edition Return of the Duelist. We're gonna bust these open and um, who knows, maybe we'll get one of those nice Medulce cards um, or a High Priestess of Prophecy would be an amazing secret rare to pull out of here, but with only eight packs to open, uh, I'll be happy with a couple of super rares because uh, some of the super rares are kind of cool in this set too. Uh, so as most of you know, the green sets are often the uh, of the Duelist or Duelist-based sets. Duelist Revolution, Soul of the Duelist, that kind of stuff. Power of the Duelist, that was a good one. So first pack, let's see what we can get. Get a little Heroic Challenger. Uh, Chronomaly Golden Jet, it's not a bad card. Uh, Eco Mystical Spirit of the Forest is the rare. As far as commons are concerned, I don't think there's anything too fancy in this set, at least not at the moment, but uh, that, that can change often. So we got Noble, Narm Noble Arms uh, Gallatin, uh, Three of a Kind, uh, Damage Mage, Chronomaly Colossal Head is the rare, and a super rare rebound, cool. It's got a little scapegoat on it. I don't even know what this card does. Uh, when your opponent activates a spell card, trap card, or a monster effect that returns a card to the hand, negate the effect, send one card from your opponent's hand to their set of the field to the graveyard. Okay, um, that's not bad. It's kind of cool. Galaxy Queen's Light, Photon, Caesar, and Chronomaly Technology. There's a lot of Chronomaly stuff in here. Um, a lot of Modulce stuff, and then um, there's like some heroic, what else is in here? There's a few archetypes in here. Uh, noble Arms. Another Eco uh, Mystical Spirit of the Forest and a Prophecy Destroyer, ultra rare. All right, cool. I mean, it's probably the, maybe the worst ultra to get, I don't know. I think the artwork on this is one of the coolest cards ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever. So um, I think it's an awesome card. Uh, it's probably just not good for like dueling, let's see. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish three spellbook cards uh, from your graveyard, especially some of this card from your graveyard. So yeah, it's not very good, but the hollow foil is really cool and the artwork is just fantastic. It looks like something out of like Magic the Gathering. You know, they kind of have that like darker demonic um, artwork. So this kind of stands out in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. So that's kind of cool. I am not complaining about that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We still got five packs to go. Um, so there's a there's hope for another hollow. A dust knight. I think one of the supers out of here, at least at the time that I'm opening this, is worth like 15 bucks, something like that. Pretty, it's a Madolce, it's pretty expensive. Spellbook of Wisdom, that's a good rare. Generation Force, the name of a set. I think that was actually the first set Generation Force, I believe, was the first set in the um, Zexel era. This was one of the last sets. Um, maybe not one of the last, but it was a. It was definitely at or past the middle of the Zexel arc. Three of a kind. That's kind of cool. It's got Cyber Dragons on it. Ooh, and we got a Ultimate Rare Madolce Pudding Cess. Whoa! Got the ulti out of eight packs. That's super good. Wow. I saw like the, the side and I was like, oh cool, it's gonna be an ulti. That's so sick. Very, very cool. That's nice. I don't know. I honestly don't know if it's a, a valuable card or not, but it's definitely a very cool card because it's ultimate rare. Another Modolce, Modolce lesson. So we got two packs left. We're not gonna get any hollows. I mean, we've only got eight packs here and we pulled three foils. So we got a little trooper, Chronomaly Jet again. Where Arf Thou, Madolce Tea Break, and a Sword Breaker. Dang, nice. We're getting all kinds of foils in this, uh, in these packs. Ninjutsu Art of Shadow Ceiling. Pretty cool card also. All right, well, last pack. Um, really not expecting anything out of this one either, but uh, we've gotten kind of lucky so far. Uh, Girgiano, oh, I forgot Girgias are in here. MK2, and that's gonna be it for these packs. Um, I love seeing vanilla cards, it makes me happy. Uh, so, whoa, that was good. That was really good. Out of eight packs, we got, what was it, four hollows? Um, one ultra and an ultimate among them. So we got a sword breaker, 
We got a uh, Modolce Pudding Cess Ultimate Rare, a Prophecy Destroyer Ultra Rare, and a Rebound Super Rare. So I, I really like this set, guys. I remember one time I bought just a few loose blisters from like Walmart or something, and I pulled the Ghost Rare. I don't think it was on film, maybe it was. But um, I like this set a lot. I think it's a cool set, it's fun to open. And I like any set, um, like Breakers of Shadow and Before. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos.